video, we will be discussing about UART basics. UART or UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It's a physical circuit uh, in a microcontroller or a standalone IC. Basically, it is a device for uh, communication in digital data from device to device. Today, UART has uh, several applications in GPS receivers, Bluetooth modules, and wireless communication, and etc. So what makes it universal? As in the name UART, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, the universal portion is defined as because the data format, the UART transmits and receives, and the speed of the transmission and receive is can be configured in a UART. And why it is called asynchronous is because it doesn't have a clock. Instead of a clock signal, the transmitting UART adds a start bit and stop bit for the receiving UART to make it understand that when to start uh, receiving the data uh, or not. So introduction to UART communication. Basically, UART is a very simple method of communication where two devices are used. In UART communication, both simplex can be done, half duplex and full duplex can be done. Usually full duplex are done in UART communication where both the devices can simultaneously transmit and receive the data at the same time. Working up a UART, in UART devices, uh, the connections are very simple because only two wires are needed. The transmitting, transmitting end of device one is connected to the receiving end of device two and vice versa. And there is a common ground point and uh, the data are received or transmitted in the form of data packet, which consists of a start bit. It is usually kept high and while starting a conversation between two devices, the start bit is kept low. Then it consists of a data frame, which consists of usually five to nine data bits. Maximum it can hold about nine data bits then followed by a parity bit. Parity bit is kept zero if the number of ones in the data bits are even, and if it is kept as one if the number of ones in the data bits are odd, followed by one or two stop bits based on UART protocol. UART protocol. Now, there is a condition for proper uh, data transfer. When the receiving UART detects a start bit, uh, it starts to reading the incoming bits at a specific frequency known as the baud rate. Baud rate is defined as the speed of data transfer between UART and it is expressed in bits per second. Both the UARTs must operate at the same baud rate, but they can uh, differ only by 10% before the timing of the bit gets too far away. A general rule of thumb is to use 9600 bots for wired communication. There are also several uh, other baud rates defined for UART communication. Steps of UART communication. Once the UART receives data in parallel from from microcontroller or FPGA, it is transferred into logic zero uh, for zero and logic high for uh, one uh, into serial data. Then the transmitting UART adds a start bit, a parity bit and a stop bit. Here we can see that the number of ones in the message bits are even. So that's why the parity bit by added by the transmitting UART is zero. Now the transmitting bit uh, transmits the entire data serially through the pre-configured baud rate to the receiving UART. The receiving UART, after receiving the data packet from the transmitting end, discards the start bit, parity, and stop bit from the data frame. It again transforms this parallel serial data back into parallel data, and then it goes by the data bus to the receiving microcontroller or FPGA boards. Now, every communication protocol has its own advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of UART is that it's very much simple connections and only two wires are required. Next, it doesn't require any clock signals. And it also has a parity bit for uh, error checking and it is well documented and widely used. So the disadvantage of UART is that maximum number of bits at a time can be of maximum length nine bits, not more than that. And it also doesn't support multiple devices to be connected at the same time. And the baud rate for every UART must be within 10% of each other. If not, then error might turn up. So that's all on UART basics today. Uh, thank you.